I wish I had headphones, like big, obnoxious headphones, but I don't, so it's fine. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Here's the Thing. Olivia Rodrigo dropped her new album, Sour, last Friday, May 21st. So many thoughts. I just think this album is so unfiltered. I love how she just wears her heart on her sleeve throughout all 11 songs. I love the punk rock vibes. I love the angsty teen vibes. I am channeling my inner angst and just kind of living vicariously through every word she says. I just love her approach to this entire piece. We've talked about music and different artists and different albums, specific songs, multiple times in the past before on this channel. And in the case that you haven't picked up on it before, just wanted to throw it out there that music is really like the universal language. There is no way that the Lord can't be reached. There's no way where we cannot find him. He is the pinnacle of all truth, of all beauty, of all goodness. And we know that music can be a truly good and beautiful thing. What I walked away with after listening to Sour was how I wish I could be as blunt and as unfiltered and as unapologetically straightforward as she was in this album. Specifically, with God. Absolutely, with other people. I hope that I can continue to stand up for myself. I hope that I can continue to be real and honest and straight up with the people in my life and the people that I meet and encounter. But how life altering would prayer be? Would life with the Lord be if we could approach Him with the same disposition that Olivia had in this album? If we could be as raw and unfiltered when we approach Him and just kind of allow him to meet us where we're at and not have to hide behind some sort of mask or facade. That's the thing that I loved about this album the most, honestly, was just how unfiltered it was, how real it was, how she said what she had to say. I feel like sometimes we walk away from conversations or people or prayer and we wish we would have said things differently. We wish we would have worded it phrased it differently. Maybe if we would have said it this way, it would have expressed something else, how we're really feeling. And I feel like she just put it all on the table. She just kind of threw her heart on the table. And because of that, all of us, all of her listeners, all of her followers can listen to this and just really appreciate the fact that she sets the example of what that looks like. And because we're Catholic and because we're spiritual and because we love to pray, we can take things like this album and we can turn it into a lesson as to how we can better live out our Christian lives in various vocations. That's all I have to say today. I am a fan of this album. I think it is such a mood. It's such a vibe. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Life Teen channel. Let us know what you think about this album or any other artists that you're listening to right now in the comments below. Stay holy, my friends. Say a prayer for me and we'll talk very, very soon. Okay, bye.